and you batter that baby down and drop it in that high grease. Mm, mm, mm. I dip it in some ranch. <laughs> Disgusted. Southerners do not eat banana and mayonnaise. I'm about to get you right now to me a major la banana, banana and mayonnaise. Oh Lord, have mercy. Do Southerners actually eat banana and mayonnaise? My mother does. Um, I've never tried it because mayonnaise is not on my list of things that I just love. But um, she says it slide makes it slide down easy. <laughs> No, it's gross. It's so gross. But just let's say a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Some people say, and they swear by this, if you put mayonnaise on the peanut butter and banana sandwich, that that acts as some type of lubricant where the, the, <laughs> the, the peanut butter won't stick to the roof of your mouth. I've never been brave enough to try this, but some people swear by it. Do Southerners actually eat peanuts and Coke? Peanuts and Coke are amazing. If you haven't tried it, you really should try it. Girl, have you ever had that? I love peanuts and Coke. Ooh, no. <laughs> Personally, I don't even like Coke. I don't know where that came from, but I'll put some peanuts in it. Wait, you do put them inside of it. But you know what? You can't find Spanish peanuts. It's got to be Spanish peanuts. That's what, I, that's what I love. I think my mother has though. And she's like super Southern. So I think she probably would eat peanuts and Coke. I don't have any experience with peanuts and Coke together. Is that a combo that most people have or? It's when I was a little girl, I used to eat that every Saturday. That's when I got my allowance. So I always buy me a little Coke, little Cokes were small then. You know, they cost a dime. I know that's like in the ancient years, but anyway, the peanuts cost a nickel. But yes, we really do eat peanuts and Coke. I don't have any experience with chocolate gravy. Ew. Is that like melted Hershey bar? I don't know if it's just melted chocolate or chocolate with gravy in it. Chad, I don't know nothing about no chocolate gravy. I wish somebody would ask me to. I don't know nothing. No, no, no. Now, is that like what it's called? Like a, a chocolate fountain? We call that the chocolate gravy. Are we actually talking about gravy on your potatoes and chocolate so that you just can jump straight to dessert. Ew. Listen, you remember at CC's back, back, back in the day, like the OG CC's pizza, they had that chocolate pizza that they discontinued. Like if that's chocolate gravy, then yes, and I have it and I miss, I miss her. CC's bring it back. Chocolate gravy on biscuits are, it's amazing. And you will, ne if you ever try chocolate gravy, um, this is almost a vegetable gravy, almost. It's really close. You could even dip anything in chocolate gravy, really. You could dip a shoe in chocolate gravy and it would be good. It would be really good. Actually, I think Southerners do eat pepper jelly. I don't, but I feel like I've seen my grandmother most definitely eat pepper jelly. Absolutely. Little cream cheese, little cracker. You can make a meal out of it. <laughs> yes, I've worked at quite a few restaurants in Birmingham and pretty much all of them use pepper jelly in some form or fashion. Oh man, let me tell you something about that pepper jelly. It is the best concoction in the world. It is nothing like pepper jelly and cream cheese on a cracker. Oh my God, yes, I love that. Yes, we do eat that. Now this is this is like jelly you would put on a, a biscuit or something, pepper jelly. I would try that. I've never heard of pepper jelly, but I would, I, I'd be down. I'd try it once and see how I liked it. I prefer grape. Deer, yes, if it's done right. Deer is, uh, uh, if it's done correctly um, and not gamey, you know, have you heard that gamey? That just means it tastes like crap. Absolutely. I mean, it's a kind of a Southern staple, I guess, you know, especially if you, you know, a lot of people are hunters, me included. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that kind of stuff. I have seen Bambi, and I don't like the idea of pointing a gun at an animal's face and like saying bye bye. Oh, Chad, don't offer me no deal. Let me tell you something. I don't eat no Bambi. Mm -mm, don't offer me no Bambi, baby. I don't care. Oh, you just wouldn't even know it. How I'm, I don't care how you fix it. 
If it, if it started off deal, it's going to end up deal. I don't want to hear nothing about that. Uh, yeah, they do eat deal, but I don't. Count me out. Mm -hmm. I've, t I've taken a bite and it's not been good and it'll stick with you for a while too. I have an uncle who brings me a lot of deer. Um, I've only eaten it once or twice. I'm sure I've tried it in my lifetime, um, but it's not, I don't do that. The first time my husband ever took me hunting, he gave me two bullets and he sat up and he told me to be real still and be real quiet. And as I was getting ready to shoot the deer, I missed. And the deer stood there and looked at me, gave me another bullet, missed again, and the deer stood, has stood there. So I was out of bullets. I hope everyone else didn't say no and then they're like, PETA. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you don't like regular tomatoes, I don't know why you wouldn't. Tomato sandwich is an amazing thing, uh, but uh, fried green tomatoes are awesome. And then you get some, like some ranch or some of that horseradish sauce and dip them in there. They're amazing. It's just little pieces of heaven. Yes, Southerners do eat fried green tomatoes and this Southerner does. I dip it in some ranch. I grew up eating them, actually, my mom makes a really great fried green tomatoes. I eat a lot of fried green tomatoes. Actually, I like anything fried. Um, and if it's a vegetable, you could probably fry it, so. In the South, you can pretty much fry anything and we'll try it. And you batter that baby down and drop it in that high grease. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, honey. Have you some peas with it and some fried chicken and some fried corn. Yes, we eat that fried green tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I take some. It's actually the only type of tomatoes I eat. I don't really like regular tomatoes, but I like them fried. You said there's actually eat alligator. Um, if you're from Louisiana, probably. It depends on what area of the South you are. I think alligator is one of those things that we can't frame it completely in the South. I know if, if uh, you have an ocean or a swamp nearby, that's a, a great delicacy. No, I'm gonna say no. Southerners don't eat alligator. Maybe people from Florida. I'm not from Florida, so I wouldn't know. Yes, I've had it multiple times. I'm not gonna lie. It's good. I had some alligator in New Orleans, and it is, uh, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, I would say it tastes like chicken, but it doesn't. Uh, it really, t to me, it had, was a, a, a fishy taste. It was more of a um, kind of similar to catfish, I thought. Alligator. Mm -hmm. Now, I think they got that on some kind of menu at a seafood place. But as for me and my house, no, I'm not eating no alligator. Mm -mm. I don't want to see no, I don't wear alligator, okay? Let me let you know how I feel about alligator. If you're from Louisiana, yeah, absolutely. You probably eat an alligator, and you might have even caught the alligator yourself, so. But, I mean, you're rolling through Florida, you gotta get some gator, you know? <laughs> cornbread and milk. I think, no, no, we don't eat cornbread and milk. Yes. Um, I grew up eating cornbread with buttermilk, so absolutely that they do. Let me tell you something, cornbread and milk, my parents ate that all the time. I don't want my milk, I don't want my bread with no milk. I don't like ice cream and cake, honey. But yeah, they do eat that, I don't know why, but yeah. I think it's absolutely impossible to go to a, um, a family get together and someone not provide the cornbread and milk. Whether you like it or not, it's almost kind of a, uh, uh, one of those staples that, that Southerners are taught to enjoy. I don't get it. Um, I don't drink milk. I love cornbread. I, I think the idea is it's almost like some kind of freaky Southern cereal. <laughs> But I think it has to be buttermilk. I don't think it can, I don't know if it can be regular milk. And they swear bad. Ooh, Chad, just give me a big whole cake of cornbread and buttermilk at that. That's what it's called. Ooh, mm -mm. Now, yeah, they do eat that. <laughs>